Cubase has some wonderful auto punching functions. So if you're a guitar player or a singer and you record yourself on your own, uh, Cubase will uh, do the auto punchings for you by itself. So you don't have to have someone sitting at your computer hitting record. Let's look at how that works. First, you're going to have to look at your transport panel here. And the way to show or hide that is by clicking transport panel. And you'll see over here, uh, there, are, there are several different uh, auto punch settings. Let's start with uh, keep last. Let's come down here and let's create a new track. Add audio track. We're going to auto record on track over here. Let's call it auto record. This is such a neat function, the way this does this. You can highlight your bar up here. Let's uh, have it punch in from bar 4 to bar 5. And you notice when I did that, over here it's showing bar 4. And the end of it is bar 5. So this over here on our transport panel right here, this is where it's going to punch in. And this is where it's going to punch out. Now this activates the punch in. And this activates the punch out. So I have the record over here. And with this activated, when this hits bar 4, it should punch into record. And it did. Now, once you do a recording, um, this auto punch in automatically disables uh, after you do one punch. The reason for that is if you do an auto punch and you start to play back, uh, and this wasn't disabled, it would auto record again, it would record over what you're listening to. If you don't want this setting, you can go into preferences and disable this, but this is a pretty good safety. So, in other words, here I'll show you, we'll do it one more time. I set this so it'll auto punch in with this off, it won't auto punch. Watch, no punch in, but when I set this, it's punch in, and remember that one's punch out. and it punched out. The reason this disables is so that when I go back to listen to what I just did, it won't punch over. If this thing didn't disable uh, automatically, it would record over what I just did. Now we got some neat little pun punching in features here in Cubase which help you uh, create compilations like uh, play a guitar solo five times and cut and paste it together to make a uh, one great guitar solo. It's really easy to do in here. Um, the first one we have is called the Keep Last. So you come over here on your uh, transport panel, select Keep Last. Let me delete these. Okay, and let me reset my auto punch in. And now I'm going to make it loop. So what it's going to do is it's going to loop and it's going to keep recording that one bar over and over. If I were recording a guitar solo, an eight bar guitar solo, I would make this eight bars long. So that it would record the whole eight bars and then it would go back and record it again, go back and record it again. And when you're in the keep last mode, it keeps all the passes, all four or five of them, whatever you do. So, you know, recording one, two, three, four, one right after the other, you don't lose those. If you record five in a row, you have all five. Let me demonstrate. I set this on loop now, and let's watch the auto punch. I'm not actually uh, recording anything. That's why the file is blank. But if I had just recorded five guitar solos in a row, we'd be listening to take five because that was the last take. This is called keep last. This was the last take. If you want to hear a different take that you did, it's real simple. You right click on the file. You go set to region. See, it says take one. That would be my guitar solo take one. Uh, take two. That would be guitar solo take two. So I, I can go through and pick out my favorite guitar solo.